Hello, this is Jonathan from Entopology, and today I'm going to show you how to make a conformal lattice from a simple CAD part. Okay, let's get started. So to start, we'll have our CAD import, and we select the faces. We create a list like this, and then go to our lattice tab and go for the conformal lattice between CAD faces. Now here, we have to parameterize the face, and if you forget that step, the nice thing about NTOP is if you double click anywhere in these inputs, it'll suggest to you what you need to put there. So I'm going to take these two faces and you'll see what I've done here is make a little coordinate system on my CAD part. And now the one thing to check is that the green and the red line up sensibly. If it looks like this, for example, you just have to change the origin position until it's right. So at this point, we have our grid, and we need, just need to fill it with a lattice. So basically, pick your favorite lattice. Let's say body-centered cubic for simplicity. We enter the number of cells around the ring, so that's 50. We enter the number down the green axis, maybe we'll use 5, and then the number in between. And you can see just like that generated really fast. Now. This might be the end of uh, end of the <laughs> workflow for you if you're tr maybe trying to bond these back to a sandwich face like this, but you might also want to say in a wheel example, um, you might want to have some flat beams connecting these open ones, and the way that we can do that is as follows. So I'm going to make another conformal lattice and control drag this in here enter the same number of spaces but this time only one and enter zero and what that's going to do is put the same lattice type along the surface as a surface lattice without going uh, without going off the normal if you want to go off the normal you can do that but uh, if you just want a surface lattice this is what you do now we're going to repeat that for the interior, so duplicate with references. That copies the outer block, but not the inner one. And we're going to drag that inner face in here. And OK, so now we have it. We have a exterior or an interior lattice, the meat of the lattice, and this exterior face. And all we have to do is merge these now, and that's with the merge lattice block. So we'll build a, less, a list. There we have it. That's our full lattice. I'm pressing the I key to isolate, and that's it. Now we can go and thicken this to an implicit, or go and mesh it uh, for beam simulations, or whatever's next in your workflow. Thank you.